Yo. Everybody, this is Hobo Sode number 460, and it's brought to you by Redbeard. Thanks, Redbeard, for being the sponsor of this Hobo Sode. It looks like this is a free one for everybody. So, hey, everybody who doesn't usually listen to Hobo Sodes, did you know you can get nine extra shows in between your free Hobo Sodes? Wouldn't that be crazy? All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash phone losers and sign up for five bucks a month. You get nine extra Hobo Sodes. Wow, that sounds much cooler than when I say you just get one extra show a week. I need to start saying that more. All right, I have some messages here from people who Molen Wolf sent to me. Last week, he wrote this letter on paper, and it says, Dear Neighbor, we are pleased to announce that Zerbel Ministries has recently purchased the land located at the intersection of blah, 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 where we intend on developing a state-of-the-art homeless shelter the facility is planned to have a capacity for up to 200 residents aimed at providing shelter, support services, and a pathway to permanent housing for those in need within our community. Doesn't that sound nice, everybody? Like, nobody's going to have a problem with this. But, of course, it's in a, um, you know, nice little neighborhood area. They don't look like super rich people. I do see a few swimming pools and backyards. I think they could be just mostly old people, judging from their houses. I did keep getting a call yesterday from a number in Texas on the Pastor Roy line, and I would call them back, and they would not answer, and then they'd call me back, and they'd hang up on me. So I left this message for them. You have reached 97364. Please leave a detailed message with your name and phone number, and we will get to you as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Listen here, lady. This is Pastor Roy from the church. And when you called me the first time and I picked up, I was in the middle of a marriage counseling session. They're having problems. And you just ring up my phone and hang it up. I don't know what your problem is, but you need to go to church, lady. Have a nice day. And I answered the phone as Carol. I'm just like, Zerbel Ministries, can I help you? But she called and hung up on me like uh, maybe three times. Or maybe I missed her call the first time. I don't know. But I think I'm done with her because she won't say anything when I call. And she's calling from a different state. So I don't know why she would be calling this area. Wow, I'm starting to sound like a recipient. I'm all a different area code. They can't be from around here. But anyway, today I looked in the voicemail for Pastor Roy. And there are three whole brand new messages in here. So let's take a listen to the first one. Hi, uh, my name is Ms. G, and I just received a letter from you regarding some property purchase. Oh, you can call me back at this number. What number? You didn't say a number, but I have her number right here. She is a local to that area, and I don't know what I'm even saying. Oh, I didn't read you guys the whole letter either. Uh, Like, I, I don't know. It's like I read you one paragraph of two pages of a letter. But we're going to provide all these services like a, like a place where uh, people could use their drugs in a clean, safe environment, uh, an inclusive chapel for uh, all backgrounds, orientations, including the LGBTQ plus community, reproductive health care services, you know, we're going to offer some Planned Parenthood stuff and a volunteer-based shuttle program. And you can volunteer to be a shuttle buddy and shuttle around the homeless people to their appointments and stuff you know anyway i don't know what i'm doing with this i'm just gonna call this first lady and see if she picks up hello oh hey there this is uh pastor roy from the church Mm mm-hmm 
Uh, I think you called us. Uh, you're wanting to volunteer to be a shuttle buddy. To uh, dr- no, I was calling you and questioning your the purchase of the property. I didn't think that the property is the property is not zoned for. This, oh yeah, we're uh, we're get we're getting it zoned. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry your pretty little head about that, ma'am. We've got it all taken care of. We got some of these well, politicians I'm, in I'm our not, back pocket. We're yeah. we're gonna we're we're it's gonna be done. You know, it's gonna start construction in just a couple more months. Are you sure you weren't calling to be a shuttle buddy? That's what I had written down here. You wanted to no, drive one of our shuttles and help out the no, homeless. I don't know what it is. Oh. But uh, in my talking with um, my uh, government official, they say that it's not zoned for that property. So I was just calling to question to find out how you got it zoned and what what the because it's not. Oh, it's it's, not it's, it's as for. good as done, ma'am. It's just going to go on that one corner there, and it's going to house 200 homeless people, and it'll be fine. They're, they're human beings just like us, okay? So you don't have to. I know. Pay. I understand that, and I understand your purpose, but it's, it's, uh, that property is, is not zoned for more than 30 rooms of anything that's going to be built there. You know, sometimes you just have to ask for forgiveness instead of permission. So we just go ahead and do it. And, you know, just if the, someone comes around and tries to tell us to, to fix it, It'll get fixed eventually. But meanwhile, 200 people have a place to sleep. Okay, well, um, my sentiments go out to those people, but I don't think that property is zoned for that. I was just calling to make sure. Thank you for returning my call. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, if you want to do that shuttle buddy thing, you know, just uh, keep in I, I'm not. I'm not for that. What I'm saying is what? I don't believe this property is geared for that purpose that you're given for oh you're gonna believe it when you see us start building and stuff okay it's, but it's, like don't you know how to drive or something to, like do you not have a car beg your pardon do you not know how to drive what does that got to do with anything well you say you don't want to be a shuttle buddy what are you uh, i don't know are you in a wheelchair maybe i i don't have that i don't have anything to do with it i'm just telling you that that property is not zoned for that yeah but we you don't work for on. the government so we're not we, gonna we're not gonna argue about I, it. I know more I've than already, you about it. Yeah, I've I've already talked with my Yeah, he didn't know so anything apparently. That, so. It's happening. That property is ours. Much. And you know what? We're probably gonna sleep two fifty in there. Just for spite. I, I don't think so. But oh, anyway, thank you for calling me back. I appreciate it. All right, thank you, ma'am. I love thank you. you. Bye bye. Uh, please say it back. I love you. You're making it weird, ma'am. And there she goes. Okay. She was not in the mood to argue, but I think the next one might be because she was a little more sassy to me in her message. Let's listen to that one. And she better be home because I really want to talk to this lady. Yes, I was calling to find out uh, about the letters you sent out to people in North Carolina, this area, about a 200 uh, room for homeless people and such going up. Uh, 250 that, now 250 for spite is that a done deal or what <laughs> uh, so people can prepare and uh, get burglar alarms set up or whatever or, <laughs> or is this something you're thinking about doing or oh, it's really can't find any information on w- what you listed in your letter and why didn't a bunch of people get them just certain uh Nine one zero. Yeah, five. yeah, Mullen Wolf. Why didn't a bunch of people get them? Actually, I think Mullen Wolf did send out like a ton of letters, but I guess that wasn't good enough for her. She's just gonna complain about it anyway. So let's hope she picks up. Come on, pick up, 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 pick up. Oh, hello, ma'am. It's past. Hello? It's hi, ma'am. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, it's Pastor Roy. Yeah, this, Hello? this is Pastor Roy. I'm returning your call. Okay. Why aren't Why aren't you saying anything back? You said you couldn't hear me or something. Uh, I was just on the car phone, and it it wasn't your voice wasn't coming through. Oh, weird. <laughs> and what were you needing, ma'am? Uh, you're in charge of the uh facility that's going up in. Oh, yeah, that's me. Uh, were you wanting to volunteer to be one of our shuttle buddies? 
You can drive around the homeless. No, I, I, I was wondering if it's a done deal or if it still has to be rezoned or what. Oh, no, it's a done deal. Uh, it doesn't show that the rezoning records have gone through yet, but we've got some, uh, you know, we've got some contacts with the government. It's happening. We just got to get them to push it through. With, this, what? Uh, that's an awful small area to put up a 200 to house 200 homeless people. Yeah, we're really going to squeeze them in there. Don't worry. The fire codes are all taken care of. Uh, we've, we've greased all the right palms. We're probably going to go out taller with the building. Once they tell us that there's too many people in there, we're just going to go taller with the building. Because you can't really start out saying you're going to make a tall building. It just kind of has to slowly happen so the locals don't complain. You know what they're like. Yeah, well, they're probably going to complain because it's going right up in a lot of people's backyards. Yeah. That live in that subdivision. Yeah, it's a good thing, though. You know, it keeps the homeless happy and they have a place to live. And, you know, th their happiness counts, too. So these homeless people will be coming in and out during the day and then she come in to sleep at night? Yeah, yeah. We're going to kick them out probably around 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. And then they'll come back around 10 or 11 at night. And so they'll be hanging around the neighborhood, probably. Yeah, just like uh, the rest of the neighbors do. You know, you can you can interact with them and talk with them and get to know them, and find. Oh, no, 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 no. That doesn't work around that area. What? Do you, why? How come? Uh, these people are pretty. They've been there for years, and well, not all of them, and they're used to sticking to themselves. And uh, oh. well, the homeless aren't going to knock on their doors or anything. Well, you get to thinking about a lot of homeless people are, are, are looking for, I don't know, some of them aren't good people, some of them are. That's right, just like uh, just like normal people. Some of them that are on drugs, yes, and some of them are on drugs and oh, yeah. look for things to make more money to buy drugs, and I think that's a big concern. Yeah, but you know, probably a lot of your neighbors, they're on drugs too. They're they're just better at hiding Are you it. For real? No, I'm serious. Like that's a lot, of, a lot of adults use use medication, and they might not even need it. And even though they still have jobs, I, and, I'm not talking about street jobs, street drugs. Oh, I, I mean I am for the homeless people. You know the cocaine and all this stuff. But you know we're gonna no, have, no. we're gonna have positions open here where you can come and help our with our needle program. Because we're going to have a reusable needle program where we clean the needles. Are, are you, why would you even say something like that? No, you, you know, we have single-use sterile needles, but we're going to be uh, doing this new thing with needles. It's a new technology where we can reuse the needles, and it'll reduce the risk of disease transmission and increase the dignity of the individual. Uh, you, get, you got the majority of the people aren't happy with that. It just They just got the letters, I believe, yesterday. Oh, wow. This mail is slow. Is it because of the hurricane, you think? No, not at all. Okay. Well, call In her. fact, when it's been looked into, uh, there's no record of, of y'all at all. You've been looking into our records? Ma'am, you're kind of a creep. And what were you saying about... You're a jackass. Why would you... It's all rude. Well, My you... God, I just failed. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to ask her about the burglar alarm stuff. Let me try her back one more time, because I wanted to go over the burglar alarm thing. Because I was thinking the homeless people, they could become burglar alarm professionals and come into the houses and install burglar alarms for the, for the drug-using residents of the neighborhood. Oh, uh, but she's not going to pick up. What a total B. Ma'am, you were asking something about burglar alarms? Please reach 91058. Oh. Please leave a message. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, ma'am. It's Pastor Roy. I had several uh, follow-ups to questions of yours, such as the burglar alarm question. Please give me a call back, because uh, I had some things to say about burglar alarms that you probably, um, you know, you're concerned about that stuff. 
but uh, you know, the, we're going to set up a program where the homeless can install your burglar alarm for you. They're going to be professionals. We're going to give them training here in our homeless center that we're going to build that we totally have zoning for. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. There we go. I'm sure she'll call me back after that. Uh, this last one, I don't think I'm going to be able to fool this guy for some reason. He's another pastor, I think. Hello, Roy. This is Pastor Glenn Nine Baptist Church off of Rhode Island. Just call and uh, get more information of, about the uh, fire that you sent out to some of the residents down around the road. Uh, please contact me. Contact me at my cell phone number, 76. Thank you, and I pray you have a blessed day. Oh. See, that's what I need to say when on my messages and stuff. I pray you have a blessed day. <sighs> All right. What am I going to say to another pastor? Should I just admit to him that it's a joke or I could make it, I could tell him like it, the letter's a lie. Nothing in that was true, but the real reason is much more sinister, but I don't know what that would be. I could say we're aliens or something. I don't know. What do I say to this guy? I guess I'll just call him and let him ask his questions. Hello. Hey there. Is this Pastor Glenn? Yes, it is. How are you doing? Is this uh, uh, pa Pastor uh, Roy? Yeah, it is. Hey, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Uh, okay. That's, yeah, that's good. I, well, my members passed on what, the flyer that they received in the mail. I just wanted to uh, kind of check pace to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. We got that, a few uh, calls from concerned people in the area. I didn't know there'd be so much uh, concern. Yeah, could, yeah, that's, that's kind of being written there at the library, a daycare, a school, <laughs> and everything else. And so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we figure that's a good place for it, right in that corner. Right by so that. Have you already purchased the land and everything? Or oh, yeah, it's purchased. Plant? We're working on zoning. Okay, look, here, Let me. I'll, I'm going to come clean with you. Uh, we're honestly, we're we're going to set this up. It's going to be a chop shop for cars. So don't a worry. chop there, shop for cars? Yeah, there's not going to be any homeless people around here. Uh, it's just going to be us working in there doing the chop shop stuff while while claiming that we're building a homeless shelter. So, you know, don't worry. There's not going to be any homeless around here. In fact, uh, we're going to have a nighttime security around the building. If any homeless people come around, they're going to be chased off. Yeah, now I'm really <laughs> beginning to have the problems there. Well, we're not going to uh, we're, we're, we're not going to steal cars from around here. You know, you know shit where you eat. We're going to go a little further out to steal the cars and then bring them back here into the garages. Okay, have a and good then, day. Wh why? What do you? <laughs> Was I not allowed to curse? I mean, come on, that's a very common phrase. You don't shit where you eat. That'd be gross. He knows what I meant. Man, is that it already? Yeah, I just got this lady calling me from Texas. And then I've got another one calling me from Alabama, which is nowhere near this area that we're doing. Mullen Wolf actually had me set up a voicemail for Pastor Roy, and I set it up so uh, in addition to whatever their caller ID name says, it also says in parentheses, be Pastor Roy to me. So when a call comes up on the screen, it tells me to be Pastor Roy. But the only call I've taken live is this stupid lady from Texas. And I don't know what this Alabama number is about. So let's give it a call and find out. I think I might just yell at this one about marriage counseling, like I did the other lady. Hello? Oh, hey there. This is Pastor Roy. You called me yesterday. You didn't even leave a message, sir. Sir? I'm sorry. I must have dialed the wrong number. Oh, bullshit. You weren't calling Pastor Roy at the... You're calling North Carolina. How do you call North Carolina from there? I'm sorry. You should be. I accept your apology because you know what? Uh, no, I have I, that to. Wasn't an apology to you. Oh well, look, I'm a, I'm accepting your apology because I'm a pastor. Okay, I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. <laughs> look, I don't give a damn. I must have messed around and accidentally dialed the wrong number, so kiss my ass. Okay, well, you want to know why I didn't pick up? Because I was in the middle of a marriage counseling session with Mister and Missus Steuben, and there he goes. Okay. <laughs> How am I getting wrong numbers to my brand new number? But I think that's it for Mullen Wolf's weird thing that he did recently. Although I'm sure there are going to be more calls soon for this because that one lady said she just received her letter today or yesterday or something, which seems slow to me compared to what I usually experience with the mail. 
So thank you for doing that, Mullen Wolf. That was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to do even more of them. I will keep a very close watch on this voicemail and on that line, and you know, I'll do my best to pick up as Pastor Roy if they call me. Now what do I do? I guess I'm going to look at the requests. Here's one from Anime Girl. It's been a month since we've called anything from Anime Girl. Maybe even two, because holy shit, Ding Timber lasted forever. So she wants me to call up this place called Snackaroos. And she says, this mean bitch runs a new restaurant that opened called Snackaroos. Okay. It's always a mean bitch with Anime Girl. Ah, crap. Okay, so I've been calling over and over the Snackaroo lady, and she's not picking up because she wants to be in control or something. She's calling me back now, so let's pick up. Hello, Comptroller's office. Can I help you? Uh, yes, um, I'll just receive the call from December. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the mayor wanted me to call you. Um, he's going to shut down Snackaroo. I'm sorry, ma'am. Do what? The mayor, he's going to be shutting down Snackaroo. He can't run that anymore. And I'm very sorry, ma'am. The, I just need to let you know. The mayor shut. Yeah, he doesn't. The mayor shutting down Snackaroo? Yeah, he doesn't like you. So he, he's just going to shut. Is this? He's going to shut down your business for tax reasons. No, well, I pay my taxes, so. Yeah, but he, <laughs> he's the mayor. He can make things up, and he doesn't like you. So we're just going to go ahead and shut that place down. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Um, I'm pretty sure he came in this morning and he loved his food and he's very happy with it, but thank you. Oh, the mayor. Yeah. He's just, uh, in there keeping yeah. an eye on things. Uh, he asked <laughs> me to call yesterday actually. And, uh, just now getting to it. I'm very sorry, but yep. We're going to be shutting down Snackaroo. So sorry about that. Okay. Well, I doubt the mayor can shut down Snackaroos, but thank you. Uh, I think the mayor can do anything he wants because he's the damn mayor, ma'am. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter if he's the president. He can't just do whatever he wants. Oh, the president can do anything he wants. But thank you for this scam and this prank. You have a nice day, sir. How's it a scam? What, are you stupid or something? Well, there we go, anime girl. I did my best. It probably could have been better, but, you know, what do you expect? It's me. That one was sent to me three hours ago. The next one from anime girls from four days ago. It's uh, phone number change. Hey, Brad, do you remember back on Hobo Sode 454? You did a prank with Alexander about adding a GPS tracker on the food truck. Well, this time I want you to prank the wife. They don't have the food truck anymore, but I want you to really talk to the wife and do a number change. So, okay, I will do that. And this is weird because they have a St. Louis phone number. But when I ask freecarrierlookup.com who the carrier is, they say it's with Bell South. And Bell South has never been in St. Louis. That's weird. Bell South is in the southeast. St. Louis would be Southwestern Bell. So how'd they get it to say Bell South? These are a couple of hackers or something. Hello? Hey there. This is Steve Dave from at and I needed to let you know we're changing your phone number today. That's 8519. Hello? So uh, we're just going to be changing that here in a minute. I want to give you your new phone number. Can you repeat that? Uh, why did you turn into a man? What's going on? Hello? I'm changing your phone number, okay? Would you like the new phone number? Shit. I should have just acted like it didn't happen, I guess. Hello? Hey there. I am calling from AT&T. We're changing your phone number today. The 8519. Would you like your new phone number? No. Okay. Well, make sure you call up somebody with caller ID if you're wondering what it is. Or just, uh, you know, call up each other on your cell phones. I don't know why you don't want to just take it from me, but uh, your number's going to change today. It should happen in about two minutes after I complete this order. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. That means goodbye. You can hang up. Ah! I'm sorry, anime girl. I'm striking out today. I'm sorry, but the person... Oh, now they've they've done the thing. They've blocked me. But you know what? I'm okay with that, because I'm going to change my number here. Hello? In addition to the phone number change, they also wanted me to let you know that you a bitch. Sir. <laughs> okay, there we go. I got him good, anime girl. I got him real good. 
that'll be the last time he doesn't believe my prank call, I guess. Here's a James I need to call for Anime Girl. All she says about him is he has a huge problem of being a real asshole. Hello? Oh, hey, James. Yeah, who's this? It's your neighbor. It's Roy. I'm Roy? Try- yeah, I'm trying to get on your Wi-Fi. And uh, I can't seem to get through to your Wi-Fi. Because I need to get on the internet, sir. Oh. I, uh, what do you mean? You want to get on the internet? Yeah, I'm trying to get on your internet. And I also need you to turn on your computer. Because... Uh, I'm going to be getting some files off of it. And also stop reading. You don't give it on my computer and stuff. Oh, no. I've hacked into your Wi-Fi, and I use no. your, I store my files on your computer. So I need to get some of my files off of your computer. I don't know what you're talking about. Your Wi-Fi. I ain't got no computer. What? I ain't got no computer. Sir, you just, there's no reason to lie. You don't have to lie to me. I ain't got, I, I ain't got no wildfire. Where you live at? I use your wire fire all the time, sir. You're being a real asshole. You yeah. are? Yeah, why are you being such an asshole? I just, <laughs> did he say you are? Like, he, he threw it back at me? I think that's what happened. But you're right, anime girl. He does have a problem with being a real asshole. He's pretending he doesn't even have a computer. Oh, here's somebody calling me back. Uh, I forget who it is. Hello. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who in the hell you are. Oh, uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I just wanted to use your damn computer, Roy, sir. Who, 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 I don't. I, I can't. I can't figure out who Roy is. Oh. Where, you, where well, do you live at? Well, look here. I don't even want to know you or anything. I just wanted to get back on your computer and back on your Wi-Fi so I can get my documents. Well, I think you've got a whole wrong person. Well, can I come in your house and just print out some documents? No, you can't, because I ain't got no damn printer or nothing. Oh. I, I don't know, you may have talked to my son or something, but you ain't talked to me. Oh, no, I didn't ask anybody for permission. I just hacked into the Wi-Fi and started storing my files on your computer. Why? Because, uh, you know, I just wanted to keep them safe somewhere. And I need to get my. Hey, what? I just wanted to keep them safe somewhere, and I need to get my tax records, sir. Tax season. Yeah, I, tax season's approaching. Well, you ain't got one on his computer of mine. Well, you, hear that? you need to go fetch fetch that computer. Just go out there and get it. I'm tired of waiting around to get my files, buddy. Well. I ain't got no damn computer is what I'm trying to tell you. Well, you're being a real asshole about it, sir. Well, you be a real asshole about it, motherfucker. Where the hell do you live at? How dare you call me a motherfucker? You know what? I'm going to stop using your Wi-Fi, and I'll just use someone else's Wi-Fi. Well, you use somebody else because you ain't using mine. Well, I still need my documents back. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was James. He's a real asshole. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap up the show. So thank you all for listening. I know I said last week, I'm going to do two hobo sods this week, everybody. And then I didn't, I just did one and I didn't even do a snowplow show. I'm sorry. I'm going to make up for that this week and do another hobo sod, maybe even before the snowplow show. I totally lied. It seems like every time I promise a show, that's just the way to guarantee that I won't get it done. So I'm really behind on shows right now. I'm doing terrible, but I'm going to try and catch up. So thanks for being patient and, you know, only talking shit about me behind my back instead of to my face. I really appreciate that. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time. And also thank you to Redbeard, that motherfucker. He's the sponsor today of the Hobo Sode. Thanks, Redbeard. Be expecting more calls from the Church of Mullenwolf soon because these people are just getting their letters. And I forget how many he sent out, but I think it was a lot. So hopefully I'll get a lot more calls soon. Thanks, Mullenwolf. Bye, everybody. Hey, what's your favorite uh, hymn that you sing in church? It's different songs, you know, like... Can you sing your favorite? <laughs> huh? Can you sing your favorite for me? Uh, can I sing your favorite? Uh, yeah, yeah, just like your favorite one. Yeah, Lord, 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 you've been so good to me. And then another one that... Uh, 
He can do what the devil cannot do, Lord can. Oh, can you sing it though? Like, like really? Lord, 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 you've been good to me. 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 Oh 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 Lord, Lord, you've been good to me. Beautiful. Oh, that's so good. I'm, I'm <laughs> clapping. I'm clapping for you.